host of the beautiful event, director and producer Jonathan Baker. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you feeling tonight? Favorite night of the year. <laughs> it doesn't matter who wins or who loses. It is truly my favorite night of the year. So tell us, you are hosting this beautiful event. What inspired you to bring all these people together to celebrate with you? Well, the house used to be owned by Warren Beatty, and he was a friend of mine. I did buy the house from him, and during his time here, in his 22 years, he had studio heads, stars, uh, directors, political people. This house sparkled with Hollywood and old Hollywood. I think one of my favorite time nights of the year is Oscar night. Yeah, because we, it sounds really corny, but we're really, look how we all come together no matter where we are, all for this one amazing night to honor people who have really gifted, talented people who deserve to be honored. Amazing. And we're at the Warren Beatty Mansion. What does that mean to you? Well, I mean, this is, you know, to me, this is like Hollywood history. I mean, the Warren Beatty uh, state is famous, and yeah, I just love being up here. Amazing. Well, glad to be here. Thanks for having Larry. You're welcome. This award, what does that mean to you? Oh, my goodness. It means everything. I have to tell you, since Paul died, every event, every holiday that I shared with him has been very difficult. Uh, but to celebrate him makes it so much easier and so much nicer. And I'm just so thrilled to be here amongst friends and people who love the industry and love Paul. And wonderful to have Larry Namer, who is a friend of Paul's, present the award. I'm so excited. Um, I was not expecting to be here tonight, but I'm so happy to be. And I'm just super excited for the Oscars and really, really just so happy for all of the nominees. So I've got my friend Allison here. I've got my five friends here, so I'm just in, yeah. I'm just relaxing and having a good time. Well, I have to second that, and I hope that <laughs> and I you know me, I hope that EO wins for the for best foreign film. Uh, that donkey movie. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. Okay. <laughs> I've been around so many, and I love the tradition. I love that it's back strong. I love that Kimmel had a great opening. Um, Guillermo del Toro wins for Pinocchio. So people are back in the cinema, so it's a great night to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's always exciting to be at the Oscars, and you know, I'm actually really excited about Top Gun Maverick, to be honest, because I love it, and we live right by the Top Gun house. So, so as an actress yourself, any performances or film that really stood out to you this year that you want to highlight? Uh, Brendan Fraser. Brandon Fraser in The Whale. Um, I'm just, I've got all my fingers crossed. And Michelle Yeoh is wonderful. Wonderful. So, yeah, so those two, those two are fantastic. Um, this is like the most beautiful place to be because uh, you're out in nature and you have the most magnificent view and the traffic is not as bad as it is down the hill. <laughs> also, it was the home of Warren Beatty, oh, yeah. which is very That's special, true. you know. I. I, I loved him as an actor, and yeah, it's exciting. And they're, they're a great couple. Uh, Annette Benning was the one woman in the world that could get Warren Beatty to settle down. He was like, had all the women in the world. Yeah, he was the quiet uh, woman. Yeah. Actually. <laughs> so it, you know, this house has power. Good power.